So I just saw an early screening of Hunger Games, The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes. And here's what you should know before you go see it, spoiler free. So this is set 64 years before the events of the first Hunger Games film. And it's all about Corey Snow and how he came to become the man you see in that film and the whole series. And after seeing this movie, I can hear echoes of the first series. Wait, 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 listen. It's the things we love most that destroy us. And I think they built the entire film around that line from him in Hunger Games. So let me start off with the bad. So the way they did the actual games, because this was the 10th Hunger Games, the way they did that, I think that some fans might not appreciate where it was at, but this was really like the early stages of the games. So they fumbled through, et cetera, et cetera. But I think that, especially people who read the book, I feel like they may not connect as well with how they ran the games. So I didn't read the books, but I went with people that did, and that's kind of what they took away from it. Another drawback I had about the film, which this is not really a spoiler, but they don't go because you're starting, they already give you the, the explanation up front that this is the 10th Hunger Games. I wanna go back to the first one. Like I wanna go back to, or before they got to the first one. Now, they do a little dancing around here and there with information and that's cool, but I would love to have seen literally it built from scratch. That would have been cool. Also, they felt that as usual, you know, the, everything from the book didn't translate over to the movie, which it never does. So that's just part of it. But I do feel that the avid book fans may feel a little slighted on it. So here's the good part. The excitement factor was there. It had a bunch of strong connections and elements to the original series. This was a prequel, so it's good to hear some callbacks and catch those Easter eggs, see how many you can find. This was very well written, and it had elements of like a horror thriller. And when you see it, you'll see why. There were parts in the, in the theater where people was jumping. It was, I was like, okay, this is different. The film was extra engaging and really made you care about the characters early. Not only just the characters, but you really cared a lot about the tributes. And I feel like maybe, you know, we didn't spend a lot of time with the certain tributes. We did, but we didn't. And they gave you just enough to pull you in. So everything that happened gave you an emotional reaction. So the, sto the story was actually more about Snow and his development as opposed to the games. You can take that as a bad or you can take that as a good. If you, because if you really want to know how Snow got to be who he is, then you will enjoy this. And especially the actor who plays him does a phenomenal, phenomenal job at really selling the different phases of his life. Now we don't deal just with Snow and his journey. We also get introduced to Lucy Gray. Lucy Gray feels like a Katniss character. She feels like, you know, they kind of paralleled it against that. You actually really grow to enjoy her personality. You know what I'm saying? And her singing. You, come into the tree. you know, it's, a, it's the ballad of songbirds. And she's the songbird. She's blowing it away. And you, it's not even, this is not hidden. That's not a spoiler. Is a great film and you'll see how much actually the title plays into the movie. Another great aspect to the film is the world building. Cause I feel like we got to see so much more of the world. We got introduced to so much more of the environments, certain districts. We got a lot because the characters saw a lot and went through a lot. So in, as, in that regards, the film was fulfilling as far as visually. Now the film, since it was a prequel, they really kind of left it almost like Star Wars where they left enough room where it could possibly be future films. Like maybe they'll make this into a trilogy. You know what I mean? Who knows? So overall, I'm gonna give the film a B. It had me engaged all the time. I really enjoyed this film. I hope you definitely go check it out, especially if you're a fan of the series. No, Jennifer Lawrence isn't in this, obviously, but it's still a lot to be taken away and you get introduced to new characters. You get introduced to new actors. You get provided a level of comfort in these new characters that you kind of had with the old ones. Now, granted, the other series had a lot more veteran actors, 
but I think that everybody did a good job in holding down their specific aspect of the story. What do you think though? You didn't see this? Let's talk about it, all right? So look, I appreciate you stopping by. I got more reactions, reviews, news on the way. So definitely hit that like button, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out, all right? Until next time, please, please, please be safe. And remember, always speak your truth, all right? I'm out.